Hey everybody, Happy New Year. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about implementing raft ordering service within a Hyperledger Fabric network. So if you have tried the Fabcar UI before, um, what this video will be about is demoing out a Fabcar chain code and, and seeing the raft ordering logs and being able to dissect a network that's using a raft ordering service. So I'll show you um, a demo of this application. And in the second part of the video, I'll show you all the steps you need to take to actually create the network. So I'll show you how to create five ordering nodes, I'll show you how to create two certificate authorities, and then four peer nodes, each within their own organization. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and run to the demo, and I'll show you both how to read the, um, read the logs, so see um, important RAF details, such as leader election, um, indices and Harvey messages, and also I'll show you how to test the network by crashing some of the nodes. So by taking two, two out of the five nodes out of the network, you'll see that it still works properly, but when you take the majority of the nodes out, um, since this is crash fault tolerant, um, Raft is, but is still not able to work with, with only two out of the five nodes running, it does need a majority. So we'll go ahead and test that and demo that now. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so now we're basically ready to um, run everything. So now we're doing npm start on the server, npm start on the client. Okay, so now it's compiled successfully, so let's go ahead and check out the app. So this is the current state of the network. We have car 13 and um, we have three Honda Accords on the network. Um, we'll create some Toyota Priuses. So we'll do gray. Um, so before we actually submit that transaction, um, let's go ahead and check the Docker logs for uh, node three. Let's go ahead and create the car. and see what happens. Um, so you can see writing block eight, nice, that worked. Um, and you can see writing block eight as well on uh, on uh, node 5 and why don't we go ahead and check the logs for node 4 as well so now let's go ahead and stop um, do a docker stop for or order order 5 so now we that we've stopped that one we should see that the streaming call has been completed and you can see that the signals terminated and also um, you'll see that the raft leader has changed from 5 to 1 Let's see what happens when we submit a transaction with one um, with one of the nodes down. So you can see we're on node four. We should see that we're writing block nine now. So we're writing block nine. That works perfectly. So that means that since uh, five is down and three, uh, one, two, three, and four are still working, everything is going according to plan. Now what happens if we uh, stop order four? Uh, let's see what happens if we make another transaction. So we'll do uh, David. So you can see the Toyota Priuses for Horan and Mike have been working properly. Um, and now um, you can see writing block 10. That's fine. So that means this worked. So this Toyota Prius for David worked as well. And lastly, what, let's just see what happens. Um, we'll, we'll have one more um, terminal open and we'll go ahead and go into uh, Docker logs. Okay, so we're on node one right now, and this is the current leader, and we're about to stop that node. Um, so you see we've stopped already two containers, um, and we have a total of five. So if we could do a Docker PS, um, we can see we have order two, order three, um, and then order. Um, so let's go ahead and stop order one. Um, so we'll just do stop order example.com. Um, so that means um, so this was node one and we see that it's terminated and then uh, order node three is still here and then also um, we can check order node two um, and see what happens so let's go ahead and do um, a Toyota Prius for Ali we'll create the car and see what happens so you see we are sending the request, um, but the nodes cannot figure out who the leader is. Um, they need a QRM for the leader, which is three, but there's only two votes. Um, so they can't 
pick a leader and thus they can't actually uh, write the block. So you see that we're in an infinite loop here. Um, and then this isn't this isn't going to work and you see that this uh, no matter how many times I click create car nothing will happen. Um, let's see if we can start one of the nodes again. Let's see what happens. Um, so if we start the node again and then click create car Um, and you see it, it, it did work now, we just have to restart the server. Um, so essentially what we did is we showed you that by crashing three of the nodes, um, you see that there's no the, the raft ordering service isn't able to pick a leader, and thus that leader can't write blocks and send those blocks to the followers. So the consensus is never reached, and we can never write blocks. Once we start up one, one, one of those nodes again, and we have three out of the five nodes, and we restart the server, we can go ahead and um, create these new blocks again, and everything works fine. Um, so essentially, what I showed you today is that you can create this raft ordering service within the build your first network, you can connect it to whatever UI you want, and you can go ahead and check the logs to see what's happening in the back end. And hopefully, um, by showing you this example, you can apply this raft consensus to other um, examples and other use cases um, in your in your own work so if any if you have any questions please um, submit questions below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content i'll be i'll be posting more and um, it helps me a lot if, if you do um, go ahead and subscribe so thank you so much